some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Thurston County, Oregon, with a Sovtard who's, well, returning for another uh, hearing because, you know, he apparently skipped out on other hearings and... Well, they're attempting to reschedule his trial, but he is still making all sorts of excuses and everything like that, and uh, claims that his uh, speedy uh, trial process is being violated and everything like that. Well, dude, if you're the one that's causing the problems, then, well, technically, aren't, aren't you the source of the problem in this particular scenario, if that's the case? But you know what? These softars never think this kind of thing through, so let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, Mr. Boulay, you still with us? Your Honor, I might temper my represent... Mr. Boulay is a constitutionalist, and Mr. Boulay feels strongly that he would like to secure an attorney that can state his position to the court or either represent himself on this matter. Well, that's definitely going to be difficult because most lawyers can't stand dealing with sovtards because they always want to interject themselves in the trial when it's the lawyer that's supposed to be speaking for them. It just becomes an annoying process dealing with the sovtard and they end up quitting because, you know, the sovtard is just a complete and total dumbass. I'm not sure if the court remembers Ms. Bo Mr. Boulay, but Mr. Boulay was it before this court back in December when I was in Arizona, and he objected to our trial dates being reset outside of his very important right to a speedy trial. At that hearing, the court indicated that the, actually the court actually set January court dates for our confirmation and jury trial dates. Those dates somehow slipped between the cracks and were not ever um, attended. Subsequently, this case was reset now for February court dates, but I can represent to Court that Mr. Boulay has from the inception of his case um, strongly noted his opinion about not continuing his trial dates. I believe they may have been continued more than once, but they were all continued for what the court found was good cause. However, Mr. Boulay did not agree with the court's position on those matters. He is obviously before the court now. Um, and I just wanted to give the court a little backstory on Mr. Mr. Boulay's representations to the court today by just letting the court know that he is what I would term a constitutionalist. Maybe the court can hear from Mr. Boulay himself. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, Mr. Boulay, what I what I want to know is uh, what you want to do about representation, whether that's Ms. Rowe, another attorney, or yourself. And um, with re in light of that, how does that affect the trial dates that we have uh, set for you for uh, March 6th? It affects it. I discoveries get here and all that stuff because uh once I get my discoveries and stuff like that, I'm as uh just uh send a motion in her on dismissal, first of all. And right. as far as me getting an attorney, that'll take me probably a year because I'm on 
Social Security disability, I get I get peanuts. I get saved for an attorney. It's going to take at least a year to save for it. So you're better off black gold myself. Uh, if you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you at no cost to you. So which brings me to the person on the right hand of the screen. Who the hell do you think they are? That's your attorney. They're trying to help you out, but uh, you don't want the help. You want to do this the stupid way. But I've got a constitutional attorney for us, and I'm going to get him, hopefully, to come take care of it for me. Are you there? Oh. Yeah, Mr. Belay, I can hear you. Okay. I mean, I didn't ask for any continued time. I don't know what happened in January. I never even heard of January. So I have never... Yeah. I mean, if, gonna, if, if, is, is, there, know, is there is there an SA, excuse me, sir, is there an SAF filed at all in that in those in paperwork? I don't know if what I, you're referring to. Reasonable articulate uh, suspicion that I committed a crime. Dumbass, you dumbass, you're a dumbass, such a dumbass, you're an ass. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, you just fell out of the stupid tree and hit every branch on the way down, didn't you? Uh, dude, that would have been in the indictment. The RAS would have definitely been in that charging document, you doofus. But I suppose you didn't read that document, because you don't sound much like the uh, reading type. If, if they don't have that, do they have an SAF in their report? I was previously found, Your Honor. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not going to go go down this path like this. Well, um, I, understand, I understand that, but you know, you, you guys are please. intruding my path. Now Muted phone please all right and mr boulay and for the record i've had your microphone muted because you're not answering my question as i i had asked you to do earlier and you're uh, agitated and talking about things that apparently don't have anything to do with the question that i asked so um ms Rowe, I, mr thompson my, my inclination is to leave this case set uh, as as is for trial on uh, March 6th. I mean, what I'm hearing here, if I'm, I mean, if I can distill it down to what's being said is that Mr. Boulay is just upset about this whole thing. And he has an opinion about how speedy trial works, which is fine. I mean, in, in any kind of case, whether a person's characterized as a constitutionalist or not, they might disagree with court rulings. They might disagree with their attorney's trial strategy. They might disagree with their attorney's characterization of what the law is. And that is fine. And that is normal. And I don't think that's any kind of obstacle to trying a case. It, But it it is important that if those are the facts and there is such a disagreement that the individual with that disagreement comport themselves in the proper way in court so that the case can be tried and legal issues that may have been laid down and decided uh, during the course of the pretrial hearings can be properly appealed if the outcome of the trial is adverse. But I don't think it gets us anywhere to try to address Mr. Boulay's legal concepts and concerns that's your job, Ms. Rowe, to present his legal case to the court. He's not free to, uh, as a person who's represented, he's not free to also represent himself as an attorney and, and present his own legal theories to the court and argue them. So at this point, he's been previously advised of his rights. He's elected to accept appointed counsel from the court. It is the eve of trial, which is set on March 6th. This case has been continued previously for a good cause as found by the court. Engaging in this kind of discussion at, at this late stage, uh, which appears to be nothing more than satisfying an intellectual position that, that Mr. Boulay has, is just what I perceive to be a mechanism to delay and extend the case. His most direct answer to the question that I asked him was that he would take at least a year to try to find an attorney. I, I don't think that's a realistic option in any way. 
So at this late stage, it would be inappropriate. It would not serve the interest of justice to allow Mr. Belay extra time to hire a different attorney from you, Ms. Rowe, nor would it be appropriate to let him represent himself. And he's clearly not prepared to do that. And any request that he may be making to do that, I interpret as just a way to try to delay and extend the proceedings instead of going to trial. So I am going to mark this case down as confirmed for March 6th at 9 a.m. for trial. Mr. Boulay, uh, as I said, I had your microphone muted because I couldn't count on you to listen. I was listening. Uh, you're going to be, you are going to be represented by Miss Rowe in this case. You're going to continue to be represented by her. Uh, she is going to perform her functions as your attorney. Uh, and uh, the case is confirmed for trial on March 6th. I expect that you will attend in person. I also expect that when you do, you'll behave appropriately at that time. This uh, bantering and argument and randomly bringing up uh, legal theories is not appropriate. That is not how court is conducted. I don't know right. what you may have seen or heard before, but I'm going to expect uh, proper courtroom decorum and behavior on everyone's part, including yours. And I don't, I'm not going to detail it any more than that because everyone already knows how to behave properly in court. So I expect that will be the case. I, I understand that, but I got something to say. I have a right to who defends me. I don't want her to defend me. I've never even talked to her. I talked to her before she. I, they uh, gave her continuance because she went out of state for Christmas. That was them who gave the continuance. The second continuance, I didn't even know about. I didn't ask for any continuance whatsoever. And I don't want her to represent me because we don't even have time to prepare for the case because she hasn't even talked to me about anything. Nothing. It's the first time. It's the only time I talked to her is when I come on to Zoom. It's the only time I talked to her. This looks like she was uh, shaking her head as if she was disagreeing with you on that. I mean, could it be that uh, you either don't remember or uh, you're lying? That kind of makes you wonder. Other than that, I've never talked to her. And uh, I don't have to accept her for my legal representation. And I, and I was talking, I was being kind of a smart ass about the one year because the money I make right now for disability is very, very, very little. And so it means I'd have to save, save, and save, and save to get an attorney. So that's what I meant by year. I don't want to wait for a year. I want this over now so I can get my lawsuits going. Yeah, well, this case is going to be resolved uh, by trial, and that's going to commence on March 6th. Well, I, well too. You're going to try me without it? She's not going to not have her represent me. Miss Rowe is your attorney in this case. No, I didn't. You, I didn't pick her. You guys you can't just set me, tell me who I can have for an attorney. Your Honor, I think it would be important to remind the defendant that it's not trial by Zoom either. He would need to be here in yeah, person. I, I don't know how clear I was on that point, but trial is conducted in person and and not by Zoom. So all appearances after this one are are in person at the courthouse. And Your Honor, could I inquire whether the state was confirming today? We were. Apparently, yes. <laughs> okay, that will conclude Mr. Boulay's matter for today. And I believe that will also conclude the calendar. Mr. Boulay? I will be calling you yeah, I will be calling you on Monday. That well, how he he can't tell me that. Well, the trial hasn't exactly happened yet. In fact, it was delayed once again, and uh, hasn't been put on any schedules yet. So, yeah, he ended up getting it delayed once again. So he's probably going to try to drag this out as much as he can before uh, the court gives up and just lets him go on all this. And he'll still whine and cry and complain about not getting a speedy trial or one at all, even though he's the one that is uh, delaying it significantly. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here.
You don't want to go to jail. For what? You read this. Yeah. I don't have to listen read to anything. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not listening. Gosh. I'm not. No, sexual oriented protection. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. You suck. They think they know it all. What's the Third Amendment, punk? Tell me the Third Amendment and I'll leave. What's the Third Amendment? What's the Third Amendment and I'll f***ing leave right now? What's the Third Amendment? Tell me. What's the Third Amendment? Most definitely. Because you don't understand why I'm here with a camera doesn't mean I have to get out of here. Doesn't mean I have to leave. Doesn't mean I have to go. <clears throat> that sort of thing. Well, this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to have to enforce the, the CT and have you leave the property. Um, per the postmaster, per the lead, uh, per the um, the uh, the person, the landlord of this uh, facility. Uh, so with that said, um, I've got too many entities I know. You gave me a warning to get off the property. I got off the property. I need your name and date of birth. No, sir. You're either going to provide or you're going to jail. I'm going to remain silent, sir. Okay. You want my name and date of birth? Put your hands right now. He chose poorly. Morning, Deputy Regan St. John's County Sheriff's Office. Two reasons I'm stopping you. One, Pine Island speed limit's 25. You're going 36. Okay. That's still 10 miles per hour over the posted speed limit. It's 25. No, it's not 25? So, I was going at 35. So that's 10 over. You just told me that you're going 10 over the post speed limit. It, yes, you did. You said you're going 35, right? Yeah, but I said that's a 25. No, ma'am. It's it. The whole thing's 25. The other issue is your license plate cover is illegal. You can't have a tinted license plate cover over your license plate. How are you? Okay, I'm doing good. Well, you're detained right now. You're not free to leave, okay? Why? have been calling after you. You know you're not to be on campus. No. You put the phone down. She yes. asked me to leave and I left. No, ma'am. So you, you guys... You are now under arrest. You guys are arresting me for nothing. No. You know you've been arrested for this before. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Because you don't want wa someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity.